your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. New details of 15 year old is dead and a 16 year old boy arrested after a shooting last night in Saginaw. Saginaw police tell TV5 the shooting happened just after 11 officers were called to a home on Avon Street between State and Davenport. The 15 year old boy died of his injuries at the hospital. No other details have been released. Michigan State Police are also investigating. Please stay with TV5 for the very latest. Well, today, several major road and bridge projects are getting started in 10 Michigan counties. Of those, two are in mid-Michigan. In Huron County, MDOT will be making highway improvements along M142 near Bad Axe. That project is expected to end sometime in August. There's a $1.5 million project to repair the M55 ramp bridges over I-75 in Roscommon County. It's expected to be completed in June. And another $6 million project to resurface 10 miles of M55. That project is expected to be completed in September. For more information on all of these road projects, head on over to WNEM.com. We're working to learn more about debris. That, what that debris that caused uh, closure on northbound I-75 after Pearson Road earlier today. All lanes are back open, but according to MDOT, the debris shut down all lanes of the northbound interstate for about two hours. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. We do have the sunshine for the morning, but now that we're getting settled into the afternoon, we are watching clouds that are building in towards our west and will be making their way overhead for the later half of today. You will find in the hour by hour conditions that those clouds do fill in. So by five o'clock, we could be looking at an overcast setup. We have that rain setting up towards our west. You do see that we have the scattered showers. Those are here for the evening and even overnight. Now, as we go into Tuesday morning, the coverage of the rain here you can still see it's a little bit broken. I'm a little leery on how dense we are going to have this green coming across radar. Not all weather data is in line bringing us all of this rain to start out Tuesday morning. So some of us could have dry weather to get out the door, but we will find that we do. Everybody's seeing a better chance for seeing the rainfall as we go into the evening, and that is going to be as the storm starts to push in. And then once it starts to rotate around, we're going to find that it brings drier air. So that's going to start to set up come Wednesday. So we were looking at the chance for some rain and snowfall, but now we have drier air that's going to be coming in. So as this storm circulates around and the dry air spins inward, it's going to kind of start to uh, hurt the storm a little bit. It's going to weaken. So we are still going to see the chance for some rain showers. Some snowflakes are also going to be possible, but the coverage is just not going to be all that great going into Wednesday just because the dry air is going to have a big force kind of working its way into the center of the storm. So what you can expect on Tuesday is that many of us more than likely are going to have a drier morning to get us started, but it's into the afternoon, the second half of the day that we see that rain push in. And then after sunset, you may have some snowflakes that come in just because of that sun angle. Of course, we don't have any of that heating from the sun once it's gone. But as we go into Wednesday, we do have that dry slot. So that's that dry year that I said was funneling into the system. You are going to find that we then, because of that, have more of a scattered look at the rain and snow showers. But as far as the snow, it's going to be on the northern edge, so it's going to be our northern counties that stand the better chance to seeing any of that snow trying to set up. As far as our chances, you can see the storm still brings in quite a few rainy days here, and still into Thursday, it starts to kind of hold off just a little bit, but then it's Friday that it does finally push out for us. So in your first alert seven day forecast, you're going to find 40s here to start the week. Tomorrow will be breezy, bringing in the cooler air for Wednesday, a high of 39. We'll go back into the 40s as the system lifts out. Great weather for the Loons opener on Friday night. And then we'll have sunny skies and 50s coming for your weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.